Hey everyone, this is Tara. Welcome back to episode 3 of Satisfactory. We're gonna start up here having a nice overview of our of our factory. Hey guys, Future Tara here. Just letting you know there was a little glitch in the recording, so there's no in-game audio. So enjoy the lo-fi music in the background instead. Hope you enjoy. And since the last episode, I did a little bit of changes. So I started automating a few other things and kind of got things more into a kind of better automation where we're still going to backlog and stuff like that because, you know, we, I didn't do this exactly at 100% efficiencies, but I've kind of split this one here to make rods here, which was shown last episode, and we also make this one here, which is um, one, making rods, and then two, gonna be making screws. We see here, because we need, what's it? Uh, it needs 15 ingots per minute. We produce 30 from this smell tree. Both of these 15 rods, so we'll have them running at 100% efficiency. So, you know, 15 minutes, so 30, 30 right these things produce 30 yeah smelt is pretty so a minute you split these so split is always you know try to do equal splitting between each line so 15 here 15 here got this one so 15 per minute gives us 15 rods 15 per minute gives us 15 rods looks like we're running at 100 percent efficiency as well and then with those rods i pushed it into making screws so right now we only need 10 rods per minute and we make 40 screws uh 40 screws per minute so we're currently back stuffing on five rods so we're overproducing five rods we will make this a little bit better where we're not having overproduction and we'll have everything kind of working to the best efficiency and in that way we can also look at kind of saving us in power our plates are still work uh, our plates are working fine you know they they take 30 ingots 30 ingots to make 20 plates so we're producing we're giving it the right amount of stuff because this produces 30 per minute that uses 30 per minute i double up our concrete manufacturing because since this can <clears throat> since this can produce 60 right it it does 60 per minute you can also climb these if you find the ladder to make traversal really easy can't get this yet which sucks but you know we're still on biofuel so getting the little bit of leaves and woods not bad And then this uses 45, this uses 45. We will do something about that to make these work more efficiently, efficiently instead of having that, I think so it's 67% efficiency. Probably should take that one back. And one other thing I did prep that you guys didn't see in the last episode was also the production of wire and cables. Wire is simple, you kind of put uh, copper into one of these and you get wires and you put uh, you know two constructors wire into cable so <clears throat> this is working fine but this is over production I think because this only produces 30 per minute and this needs 60 per minute so this will always run at half efficiency but we can kind of sort that out so that we can kind of get this working at 100% efficiency later on and <clears throat> As always, I try to future-proof things with stuff. So as you see, my current milestone here is object clearing. <laughs> and object clearing, what that kind of gives us the, what that gives us access to is a few bits of kit that actually is really useful. It gives us access to the chainsaw, which um, allows us to kind of cut down trees and also has an AOE kind of cutting effect. Solid biofuel, which is an upgraded form of biofuel and more inventory slots. So because we need screws, lucky I already made that automation up and we need wires. Should always keep a little bit of cable on me. 
and we already have some concrete on us let's start this one boop boop and boop let's launch that up let's listen to ada's message So now we're going to be able to produce the solid bio biofuel. I'll start, you know, getting that going because we did, we did, uh, we did kind of make a lot of biofuel prior and kind of, uh, back stuffed it quick way to kind of click a whole bunch of stuff in one go control clicking does that all at once, one set. So you don't have to click individual stacks. So, you know, shift click will move one stack. Control click moves all the thing over. And now this will just take all the biomass and make it into the solid biofuel. I can do this by hand, but like everything in Satisfactory, it's just kind of easier to automate it. The only thing I won't automate is kind of making that biomass because since biomass can be made from so many different uh, sources, you kind of lose a lot of uh a lot of time just kind of chasing biomass really and having to prepare so many different constructors just for a little bit of biomass i wonder can i do it off this one as well yes yeah, good oh all right so just topped up our biomass where's that wood i'll put that away let's just finish this up here and then i'll show you what the chainsaw can do so we'll just chuck this back in um one thing to note in between oh okay oh what did i do anyway uh in between returns of the pod you can't put any progress into the next milestone so we'll put this part assembly as our next milestone but you see we can't do any progress into it because when we actually complete a milestone, we are sending the spot pod into space. So if the pod's not there, where are we going to put the stuff in? Um, yeah. So let's go and make our our chainsaw. For the chainsaw, we need uh, can I just add it? There you go. So we need some reinforced iron plates, some iron rods, some screws, and some cable. So let's get some screws. Not enough. There you go. Uh, let's get some iron rods. There we go. And we need some re reinforced iron plates so we can make that by hand. I only make just enough for us to make that there. All right. So while we wait for everything to kind of be enough, do we have enough? Let's actually, I might have enough to start this part to actually send this part assembly one go off. I, and I need some cables. Did I get take the cables? No? Okay. So we send this one off as well. Why not? Send this one off and we'll get that going. Final milestone and try working towards today. So you would have noticed that kind of we are now looking at doing new new things. So we've got access to part assembly, which I'll get to as soon as I finish up making this what access uh, so we've got access to a few new things we had a reinforced iron plates before we've got something called copper sheets we've got modular modular frames and rotors well i think we ran out of power but that's what we got that for so 
Do we run out of power? Yeah, we ran out of power. It's not that we kind of... So let's put one of you in there. One of you in there. So when we saw before, it takes... Um, 10 biomass per minute, right? Where it takes now for this one is four biofuel per minute. So we're already kind of going into a more, uh, how do you say, a more efficient power source. These things last longer. They produce the same amount of, the same amount of energy, which doesn't matter too much, but the simple fact that it lasts longer, it makes a huge difference. Da, da, da. We've got enough for our chainsaw. Let's make that chainsaw. Oh, that's a weird UI glitch. Anyway, so now we've got a chainsaw. Let's chuck that on. So chainsaw we see there, it uses biofuel. But hey, looks really cool. Uh, I need one of them. So let's steal one biofuel from you. Ah, you produce a lot very quickly. And what we can do with this chainsaw now, well, first I'm gonna cut this down because it was kind of impeding into what we can see. But yeah, you see this tree we normally cannot take down, but now with this chainsaw, boom. We got a new piece of research we can do in the MAM, which we'll probably get into. And as I said, it, this thing kind of has an AOE effect on where you where you harvest using it. So as you saw before, while Ada was speaking, I kind of used it in that little outcropping of leaves, which made it really easy to cut. And then same thing here, you know, that huge outcropping of trees, AOE effect kind of cuts and makes it makes the job nice and easy. Now, we're just gonna, you know, industrialize this area and cut down a few trees. I'll be right back once I kind of collect inventory's worth of biomass. All right, so I, before I gave you the break, I went and got a whole bunch of a, oh my God, I hate the sound of the chainsaw. I uh, went and got a whole bunch of leaves and wood. I know I said don't automate it, but I had like 5,000 leaves. So I put a constructor down with a storage container and then the rest I made into biomass and kind of left it there. Put that all into constructor to make a solid biofuel. And finally we get solid biofuel. So that can kind of go into a biomass burning generators. <clears throat> Those guys there. I put this extra one down to kind of make sure that we have enough headroom. So we've got a capacity of 120 megawatts and that kind of, that's gonna bring us to our next point where now we are looking at doing, oh yeah, we already got the parts assembly done so we can look at automating automating the crafts of the reinforced plates and rotors plus we can start looking at maybe if we get enough time we'll look at doing modular frames as well seeing the copper thing though just realize i should probably switch over our wire production into the copper sheets production because we won't need this many wires to be completely honest so we can probably ch uh, change this recipe to copper sheets. Chuck that in there. I'm just gonna throw them out. So copper sheets uses 20 ingots per minute to give us 10 copper sheets. And this one will be able to kind of get all what it needs now because we produce 60 from here. Uh, sorry, no, we produce 120 from here. And we're putting it 30, 30, Wow, I'm actually not doing very good with my management. 
but anyway so kind of that's kind of what we're looking here we're going to make a whole bunch of cables we're going to start making sheets in here and you know we just saw it go past there and that's our copper sheets copper sheets will be used later on in a different uh different stage they are used in something that we won't really see now i was introduced in update 3 which was water and fluid systems so in update 3 they introduced something uh well fluid systems which made it that you can start pumping water and other such things but anyway we are gonna look at auto crafting our reinforced plates and for that we need a part assembler so let's start making a to-do list so we need our part assembler so this one is different than our normal assembler because it takes two parts to make something else so like when we saw the re re uh, reinforced iron plates we need iron plates and screws to make uh, reinforced iron plates that's what we kind of have to set up here with this assembler and then from there we are going to also try to do our rotors which is another crafting material that this one needs rotors and reinforced iron plates uh, so to make the reinforced iron plates we need one constructor for our iron plates one constructor for rods and one constructor for uh, our screws we'll need a miner and because we produce enough i guess we'll get two smelters uh, is this your node it is a pure node well is this a pure node if this is a pure node we might not have oh we can yeah all right we will get away with actually not not having to do another miner so we can probably get away with that another miner because remember pure nodes produce 120 per minute we're only using 60 this way that does 30 this does 30 so that means we've got another 60 we can utilize here i'm gonna clear out this area so as i said aoe clearing nice and quick makes quick work of this area then let's put some foundations down wait let's clear out this tree as well nope will this help yay all right let's put some foundations down and so like we did here we're gonna get a splitter and let's put well we should probably get another constructor right. what am i doing i'm gonna first go get all the stuff we need for our stuff for our um making of things and then i'll come back and kind of do this with you <clears throat> one thing i forgot um because we got some new stuff from breaking down those trees and stuff let's start a map so apparently uh, when we last spoke to ada we could when we last spoke to ada ada's a ada's not a person but yeah when last ada told us about what we can do we were told that we can use the mam to kind of look at mycelia and so i'll quickly make five uh reinforced iron plates because i think that that's what we need for the mam yep so mycelia let's unlock that one takes three seconds boom cool and now medical properties if we had some of the barrel nuts we could do medical properties which i think we might have i was like i've always loved the um the research part of part of satisfactory it always makes it kind of interesting because there's so much you can kind of pick up so can't do that one mycelia so if we had 100 biomass we can do fabric oh so happens we have more than 100 biomass so let's do this fabric uh why i'm kind of doing here is just kind of making use of the time that we have so let's make that and then finally that gives us 
parachutes. Then we need 10 fabrics for parachutes. Okay. Well, let's quickly make 10 fabric. Let's take a couple biomass. I don't think so we need too much of it. I've actually never seen the parachute, never used it before, so let's see how we go. So it's mycelia plus um, biomass to make fabric. So 10 fabric. It's another quick one. And now we have access to parachutes. Okay. Parachute needs 10 fabric and wire. All right. Gives us five parachutes. I think that might go in body slots. I don't know how they work. Do they auto? Auto run? No clue. But. Guessing goes in there. And now we have parachutes. So I guess if we get flung off the world again, we won't die. <laughs> Uh, okay, next thing we look at was here. It needs barrel nuts. We don't have any barrel nuts. I think so. I ate them all. Then there's this one. There was one thing I wanted to know. Alien organisms? No, it wasn't alien organisms. Oh, strange energy readings. I remember us picking up... Oh, it's a yellow one. So these power slugs... They come in three rarities. There's yellow, green, and red, I believe. And they kind of work with trying to unlock this portion of the machine. Where can, where's the machine? They work with unlocking this portion of the machine, which lets us kind of overclock or underclock whatever we kind of need it to do. So that's what I was talking about before, where, you know, we only produce so much we only produce so much of the wire per minute and we only need so much wire per minute so why don't we kind of down clock this to only use 30 wire per minute right because this only produces 30 so we can download clock this to use 30 per minute we may produce less cables but you know it's more efficient and it actually could reduce its cost but for that we'll have to actually go and get uh, we'll have to actually go and find one of those green slugs and I think there's one there. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. We might be able to do this on camera. All right, let's see if I can f get my way there. It looks like it's there. Yeah. All right. Nope. Okay. So that's how parachutes work. Did that use the whole parachute? Am I down to one parachute? Wow, they use up quick. Ooh, doggo. Um, if I remember correctly. Hey, doggo. Doggo. All right, I'll put them on the floor. So, put this on the floor. Wait, no. Doggo. Bye. Okay. So that was lucky, sort of, that we found a. S we can see there's a slug at the top of that. Get so we can go up there. Hmm. Let's. Look at tower here. No, 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 no. Ow. Let's eat some of the bacon.
Are we out of parachutes now? That's okay. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. And we're gonna take a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, I can see the benefits of having those fabrics. I'm gonna quickly craft some of those fabrics up and see if we can get another set of parachutes and go with trying to get that uh, power slug. I'll do that and when I get close to it, I'll bring you guys back in. Okay, uh, I came here. I swear I didn't try to cheese my way up here at all. No, not at all. Just, you know, using mechanics to its best, best set. But as you get closer to the power slug, you'll he start hearing this sound. That's her ring, that's that guy. But you see that chime? Can you hear that chime? And that chime is kind of what we're trying to hear for when we try to go for these slugs. And I think this will be another yellow. Oh no, it's a green one, cool. So we can start picking it up. It takes a little bit of time and that's a green slug. So let's try to see that research tree and see what we can get from it. Also, what's over here? There's so much leaves, but is there anything worth coming here for? Ooh, there seems like there's something back there. There's animals. So there's death and danger on this side. Lovely. So yeah, I'm gonna make my way back to our place and yeah I'll also take down my mess I know I made a big mess if I can actually find it oh, oh. so to mass deconstruct I think so you'll click and then you'll hide nope control yeah so mass deconstructing can be done as simply as that just con hold control and then it'll highlight them more and boom. Same thing we can do there. And there should be the lookout as well. Where did my lookout go? There, lookout tower. Cool. All right, let's go and do that research for the green slug. And then let's see, if we can get the next bit of research done. And I think after the research, Actually, we'll see how much time we have left after this research. So power slugs, one of this fella, start research. Ooh. So let's hear what she has to say. No, nothing to say. Cool. All right. So now next thing is here where it says overclock overclocking production. Let's start that research. And then, you know, we'll let this run for five minutes. While that's happening, I'll get to making all the stuff on our to-do list. And I'll then, you know, we'll catch back up right after that. So see you in a little bit. All right. So we've got another two minutes on the research. And so in which case, what we'll do, we'll start working towards making our... Making our um, next bit of automation. Hi, big fellow. Why are you skating? You feel you feeling okay there, buddy? Um, I guess he got the new wheelie shoes, but I don't see shoes on him. Bye. Are you going to start walking properly? See ya, bud. Have a nice life. I left something up there. Can I not reach it? You feeling okay there, buddy? See ya. Hopefully you learn to use your feet again. And I think, I think with that, 
we're gonna say bye bye so let's have a quick look out at what's, what's happened with our place because we unlocked the chainsaw today i did a lot of clearing <laughs> There was a lot more vegetation around here. So I did a lot of clearing. I expanded out our foundations up there. I kind of ran out of concrete over there. So, you know, we'll, once I get a bit more concrete, I'll put, put some foundations down there. You see, we've got a bit more verticality in the area. So we might, I might look into picking up all this and bring it up a couple levels to be in line with that one there. That would be kind of cool. And yeah, so I've got that set up there for uh, when we need another iron iron spot and so is that one there we just got the power slug from up there and yeah so that uh, that's us man that's a really tight knit tight bit of uh, machinery huh oh one thing i did find out that i'm gonna end end the uh video with here each machine has a little kind of model number on it constructors are called stamp Oh, and the research is done. All right, let's go and look at this research and I'll quickly show you what this is and then close up for the day. So our overclock node. So building can now use overclocking and that's here now. So see, this one now needs 60 to go there. I can actually bring this down. So you can actually type in here or you can move this up and down and it'll do the same thing. So now you see it's working at half capacity and it's reduced its consumption by quite a bit. So full consumption after, you know, it's done its iteration. Full consum consumption of power is one, four megawatts. If I bring this down to 50%, so as I said, you can kind of drag and drop. It will bring it down to 1.3 megawatts consumption. It does bring down the output because we are only using half its, half its production rate, but hey, you know, we are produce we only can produce so many from here and we can only you can use it so at such a fast rate and because we already have a good stash of wires i there's no point in me keeping that going the other thing we can do with a similar thing is kind of save us on power as well is this one where we produce a 15 but only needs 10 we can do that to i think so that would be 66 uh, can we do target? Yeah, there you go. Can we change this from... Can we adjust the target one? 10. Yeah, so there you go. See, we can adjust, adjust either clock speed or how many we want per minute, which makes it this work kind of more efficiently. So instead of using, using the same five, 4 megawatts, now it's down to 2.1, which saves our capacity. Like It may not sound like much, but it saves our capacity because we only have a ceiling for capacity so far without you know, completely overhauling and kind of going with a lot of biomass burners. But yeah, anyway, so that was kind of the whole thing with overclocking and underclocking. So overclocking can be done, and I don't know why I'm running through the arms there, but overclocking can be done using these things, power shards, right? Uh, actually, we should probably use that and unlock the yellow shards as well. So, in power slugs, you'll have to unlock these ones. So, if we had another green slug, we can actually unlock the scan for it. And we have the yellow ones. So, we can use one yellow to now unlock the recipe for the yellow power shards which means next time we have a yellow we can put we can make the yellow power shards which is essentially one yellow slug to those two power shards and one green slug to one power shards when we opened up the man we saw there there is a research oh did i just waste yes i did okay anyway uh we saw that there was the research for the purple slugs so that's our third tier purple slugs right so that will give us if you know the previous ones are known one two so this will give us three power shards per purple so essentially more efficient but you know the slugs themselves are actually really good to have 
so when we next kind of find a green slug, I'll do this research and kind of get that. I think so it scans for all slugs in the vicinity. And yeah, so with that, I'll leave that, leave you guys there. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode. Catch ya.